Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have something very, very special. Today we're gonna be flying a 3D printed Airbus A321. It is a very easy build, it just takes time. It's a very easy process to print. It does take over 200 hours to print. It is a 4S twin EDF, 70 millimeters. There's a lot of work behind this build, so I hope it flies well, and I hope it actually flies. If not, we're just gonna have, go have some fun with it. So without further ado, let's go fly it.
Tail heavy, way too tail heavy. Way too good. Le faltaba más. So there you go, guys. Uh, it did not go as planned. Let's just debrief and talk a little bit about what happened. The plane was actually way too tail heavy and I was stubborn and I was like, that cannot be it. There's too much weight in the front. So I left it in the back and it took off perfectly fine. But as soon as it started going up, I started pushing it forward and it was just not enough. It wasn't going. Um, it got to a point where it was vertical. And at the point I knew I had two options, either I try to recover it on the way down or it's simply gonna fall back down. So it started tilting to the side and I took the chance and I said, let me, let, let me finish it, make it go down and then try to pick it back up as soon as it turns around. As soon as it w turned over, I started pulling it, but the elevator just wasn't enough. There wasn't enough there. Um, and it just went straight down. This is something that I knew it could happen, especially because the CG wasn't right. Uh, it was way too tail heavy. But then again, we do this for fun and we learn from it. Um, don't forget to subscribe because I do have a version two coming up soon. Now there is a few things that I will be changing in version two. This one's gonna be actually built better than the last one. I'm gonna make sure that the CG is perfect. It is balanced. And I'm gonna add a little few features to it as well. So again, guys, don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up to help out with the algorithm. Let me know in the comments if you enjoy this video and if you're ready for part two. I thank everybody that was involved in this video and everybody that helped out. Thank you again, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next build.